Hey guys, Tough Thumbs here. This is take two on this video. Um, hanging out with Sebastian now. Vance was here, he just left. How you guys doing? Um, I'm gonna start off showing my new flipper just to get it out of the way. I was having some issues with it all of a sudden, um, but it's fixed now. Some crap happened while the camera's rolling, of course. But anyway, I'm gonna get right through it before I get through anything else with the pimp jobs and stuff. So you got your N690. I guess it's not my style blade. Uh, I mean, I don't claim the rights to this swedge or whatever. I just like the way it looks. Some people ask me about it. I mean, it's strong and it's got the swedge here so you can use it to uh, penetrate better and such. And I just like the way it looks. Plus, you still got slicing ability. I'm not gonna do a cut test with it. I dulled it pretty badly uh, doing a cut test earlier. Uh, tip's pretty sharp. I just don't learn, do I? Yeah, that ain't sharp. Oh, yeah, dude. They don't know I'm actually using a paramilitary off camera. Whatever. Try music down with it. So anyway, N690 blade. Uh, bead blasted with a very light acid wash, no stone wash at all, just a nice dark gray look to it. Logo got a little messy. Uh, probably redo it at some point, but this is a prototype. It's mine, so no biggie. And, uh... Got the alpha pivot there. Used an Emerson uh, pocket clip. Uh, it's what I had laying around. It worked pretty well, fit on it pretty nicely. But as you can see, it's basically version two of the flipper you guys saw. This is originally what I was going for, but it did not turn out very good. See, this one doesn't look like a shark to me. It's more organic, more comfortable. Uh, it's actually a liner lock as well. It's my first liner lock. Uh, Lockup's good. I'm confident in my. Uh, the uh, lock geometry and like the cut on the blade and everything. I know that it's going to be pretty much perfect every time. I have a good way of doing it. This is never going to wear past there. I guarantee you. Nice and centered. Not the smoothest thing in the world. I'm still working on that. Uh, but it's smooth enough to uh, with a slight, slight bit of a just a little bit of a wrist action there. Comes open nicely, but otherwise it comes open like a, you know, XM18, three inch. <laughs> I love that knife, guys. I'm, I'm just kidding with you. Um, but you see it's a diamond pattern G10, B blasted hardware, carbon fiber backspacer with a little toxic, toxic green accent there. What are you laughing at? Ah, it's like freaking kindergarten here sometimes. Uh, the jimping is a little small Anzo pattern. Just add a little bit of a style to it because it isn't like the most crazy looking knife. So I wanted something just, uh, you know, just make it a little bit cooler. I like it, but some people might not like the plainness of it. Nice and centered. So this one I may or may not be selling at the show coming up, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna charge for it either. Uh, this took me a good, oh, 6 a.m. to 1 a.m. Uh, to do it the other day. I just need to do it to uh, blow off some steam and just get some uh, creativity out there. So this is what I came up with. Some of the blades I heat treated are uh, ones I've been meaning to work on. Jumped the gun on the other one, so this is actually what I wanted more. It's got a lot of belly to it, a lot of blade going on there. And uh, very comfortable, what do you think? Yeah. Sebastian, you know, it's not his style, but he likes it. It's comfy. Very nice, very comfortable. Detent's good and all, but you know, just needs a little smoothening out to get it to be nice and smooth. So, that's that guys. Let me know what you think, I need a name for it. Uh, so please let me know if you got any ideas for a name. N690, titanium liners, titanium liner lock, uh, bronze bushings. About the size of a Southern, pretty much, all around. Now uh, here in this little circle here, you see uh, some regrinds I did for Sebastian. This is a Snowdy uh, Gravitator. This one had, um, yeah, it looks terrible on camera. This one had the serrations in it. Get a nice regrind to get it out. 
And this one just kind of was like a little messy. So I basically gave a nice satin grind to it. Just took some, he got them for cheap, you know, like beat up, you know, users, and now they look nice and fresh and clean, sexy. It's my uh, part-time job is regrinding Sebastian's knives. Regrind his sniper the other day, which looks good. Did a swedge too. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes, uh, you know, sniper blade works blades. The grinds are a bit uneven. Uh, he does them all by hand. They're they're all different, you know. I like it. it doesn't affect the cutting ability. Uh, basically, is one of a kind. yeah, everyone is one of a kind. But I thinned it out a little bit because some of them are leaner, some of them are thicker, and this one was definitely way too thick and was not, you know, the greatest for cutting. And Sebastian likes a really sharp blade, so basically thinned it out a bit. But as you can see, it comes more straight right here, and right here it goes more of a more of a natural swoop that you'd want. Just a slight difference there, but I just followed the grind. Didn't want to uh, bring it up at all because it was hollow ground. But yep, and this one's also for sale. What are you selling it for? Five. Five hundred. Five hundred with the Sabanzo pattern G10 scale done by me and the regrind done by me. Titanium's good. Lockup's good. Nice and very smooth, actually. Very solid. So, the Tachyons, doing a bunch of these for Blade HQ, guys. So, they'll be available on there. I'm doing patterns in the scales, anodizing and stuff. It's gonna look pretty cool. You'll see them when they're done. We got about, what is it, five or? Five. five. How many is over there? Four. You have five and, total. And this is five? Yeah. There's six, then. I got one more over there I took apart. Beautiful blade on this guy. Doing it as a thank you to Blade HQ because they've been so freaking awesome. So, guys, definitely, I'm gonna keep plugging them just because I can't believe how nice they are to me and how much of an opportunity they gave me. So, guys, like, you know, support Blade HQ. They support the YouTube community. So, I think that's awesome. So, next up, now you see right here, uh, this is a challenge coin I got from a customer. Uh, it is the uh, Sear training. He completed it, and uh, he needed his knife done. Uh, quickly because he's I, I forget what he, I think he's deploying or something going somewhere, but uh, he needed it for uh, He needed it right away and for people like that, you know, I definitely do uh, Quicker or you know discounted prices and whatnot. He gave me this as a little gift after he completed the program uh, Which is pretty awesome. I've never had a challenge coin before and it's a really nice one and the fact that he got this for completing this uh, survival or evasion resistance and escape. I know it's a really hard course. I've I've uh, read about it a bit it sounds like sounds like a nightmare so uh dude definitely uh props to you for for completing that and thank you so much for this thing it's been in my pocket a little good luck thing keeping my fifth pocket there on my jeans so uh pimp jobs where are they so I'll go along with that this is the knife i did for him it's a it's a uh, medford tff1 this side has been uh stone washed and uh bronzed with a light bead blast pattern kind of like a jungle pattern Tiger stripe looking thing. Kind of like a natural pattern, but almost illustrated onto the side. Pot clip stone washed. Blade stone washed aggressively for a good day and a half. Looks real nice. I gotta re uh, sharpen that. Probably send it out on Tuesday. And on this side, really aggressive rock pattern. He wants something extra grippy. Uh, this was an aluminum coyote scale. But now it's got the rock pattern with a super aggressive uh, blast on it, which looks beautiful. I mean, it's no Chinese hinderer, but you know, it's something, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, man, I need to loosen the pivot on this thing, it's a little tight. Looks sick though. I love the G10 on these things, they look nice. Everything's 100% to the thou though. To the thou. To the thou. Alright, give me that. I just gonna show you a custom paint job. I did this on a few of the uh, BB guns and stuff that we got, but uh, my uh, little uh, 22 Smith and Wesson uh, 1522. It's kind of like a really nice. Uh, OD green 
coyote tan. It's like a screen pattern with like splashes of uh, color and it's pretty damn sweet. It's a tough, the tough camo. Looks sexy. We've also got the red dot on this guy. Just cheapo, with the little riser on it. Thing looks badass though. Have to say that. The Magpul stock. Sexy. I love this thing, it's awesome. Fun as hell to shoot. It's lightweight too. Take that, sir. Thank you. So next up, uh, not the grandest finale of all, but you know, I wanted to do it uh, with a flipper first, as uh, you know, I was having issues with it. This one is a Southern for a, a guy named Harry in Hong Kong. Uh, I don't get a lot of customers out there, but this is one of them. It's a Southern flipper. Really nice red G10, great choice. It's not a color I come across often in my uh, work. Uh, not a lot of people recommend or uh, ask for it. But it always turns out looking really nice, as long as it's not smooth. If you ever get in red G10 on something, guys, do not get smooth. It looks like shit. I don't know what is up with red G10, but it only looks good with patterns. Otherwise, it's got some white washed out look to it. Uh, when it's smoothed out, it's just not as nice. This one's been heavily bee blasted. Double uh, Anzo pattern, diamondish pattern type thing going on there. On this side, I put a microscopic Anzo pattern. A little over child, it's hard to see. The blast kind of gave it, took the, made so much texture in it, it's kind of hard to see it, but it looks really nice. Oh, shut up. Really nice <laughs> it does look nice. Looks awesome. Smooth knife. Still one of my favorites, guys. Still one of my favorites. I do carry it a lot. If I'm not carrying a custom, it's going to be this or the Sabenza, which I consider a custom still, even though it's not. So that's it, guys. I'm going to show you more of this flipper now. This is the point where I would turn the music up a little bit. You know, just to add some awesome, oh, I think Sebastian's gonna do it. Yeah, I changed the lighting and everything, so. Farther from my stereo. What can you name it? Flippy Doodle. Whoa. Flippy Doodle. Flippy Drop. I almost dropped it. That is sexy. Still have t-shirts available? I do have t-shirts available, but I'm gonna sell them at the show coming up. 20 bucks. Good detent. It's not perfect. I can't flip it around backwards too well. This is a really great reverse grip on this thing. Fits like a joystick. Yes, I know some people think it looks like an onslaught a bit. The onslaught got in my head really bad, I think, and uh, I love the knife. Um, uh, I, and you know, the handle shape's similar, I guess, and so is the blade. Uh, for me, it doesn't look a thing like it, but I understand the similarities. But the grip is just. Perfect. This your pinky fits right in the choil there. Comes up like a freaking joystick right here. Just thumb rests perfectly. I feel like I can do pretty much anything with it held like this. And it's not too thick, but not thin. Like the scales are real thin, but the whole thing overall is just uh, 
thicker, I guess you'd say. It's a little bit of a thicker blade on there. Next to the southern here. It's not much thicker, and the southern's not the thinnest in the world, but it's not too much to carry. It's nice and nice and concealable. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll get some shots of this closed here on the side. Looks good. Alright guys, have a great night. Thanks for watching. Peace. Peace.